Ooh, Canada. Canada can be another tough nut to crack sometimes. I once killed the entire world except for Canada. Oh, man, we, we got, we're flush with DNA. Yeah. Okay, now, you notice we've got another uh, things opened up here. Genetic hardening. Pathogen becomes harder to analyze in the lab. Decreases future research speed. That can come in handy. And let's go for more drug resistance. And we're pretty good at spreading. Now let's, we need to start killing faster, I think. Pulmonary edema, that looks good. Nice. Breakdown of respiratory system, releasing pathogen and into the air. Pulmonary fibrosis. Dysentery. Dysentery is a brutal one. Ugh. Is that insanity? Yes, it is. Nice. Neuropathic actions of the pathogen in the frontal cortex cause severe emotional and behavior abnormalities. Significantly harder to cure. Oh, I was wrong. It's, like, it's not that some things have multiple prerequisites in, in this case. I think it's just that they have, like, different possible prerequisites. Maybe now, in the case of transmission, change. some things actually do have multiple prerequisites, as you'll see. World Cup has been cancelled. And the angry oh. soccer riots over that kill more people than the, d the disease has, probably. It took away the UK's hope spot. UK leading global cure effort. Alright, UK is about to send research teams to infected countries hoping to speed up development of a cure for PAX-12. Pop blue bubbles to destroy the research. You'll see, what see that blue plane? That's like one of their research things. Oh, we've reached Iceland! Blue cure bubbles appear when a research team from UK finds something. Pop them to destroy the research and stop the cure from speeding up. Hmm. Central America distributes bottled water. There are two ways to fight the development of the cure. Evolve aggressive symptoms to destroy countries, more noticeable. Or evolve cure resistance, less noticeable. Oh, you see that? Central America bans movement of livestock. Yeah, that's either they respond to you. Oh, we've reached, yeah, we've reached New Zealand. Someone's distributing insect... Yeah, Scientists have introduced synthetic genes into PAX-12. Who researchers say that this breakthrough will help cure efforts? Damn. Mutate about the abscesses symptom. Cure is 25% complete. Let's slow down research some more. That'll learn you to try and cure me. Make me think about this in relation to real life. Like yeah. I'm imagining viruses trying to destroying research. Like, <laughs> having, like, planning meetings where they... Just, like, trying to tip over bottles in labs. <laughs> <laughs> Just millions of them piling on top of each other in, like, a huge human pyramid. Push. Let's throw in some seizures, why not? We have now killed more people than the Black Death. Infected over half the world. Yep. Global research which is now focused on us. Hey, check it out. See this now? Notice, look at this now. And research funding is up to level 7. Set up trauma centers. Prioritize health care for the infected. Ports closed. Land borders closed. Infectious t disease teams mobilized. Hmm. They're taking us... Yeah, we're... Well, they're already completely infected, though. Up into Scandinavia. Ballist Baltic states shut land borders. Have you gotten to Greenland, though? I have not, which is a problem. Greenland and Moga Blazes infectious disease team. Wait, or have, have I? No, I have not. Damn you, Greenland. Central America gives cure maximum priority. Killed more than smallpox. Over 300 million worldwide. More bird two. Avian brain tissue compromised, causing birds to attack other species. <laughs> so it's, it's turned into like Alfred Hitchcock now, basically. Increased mutation, infectivity, and land-based transmission. The real birdemic. 
<laughs> Still less horrific than the movie. Water. Pathogen able to survive in chemically treated water. Increase infectivity, especially in humid environments and ship transmission. And... Rodent. Common flea susceptible to infection. Rodents, rodents, ah, you're, let me show you some. Rodents directly susceptible to infection. Like that. Livestock 2, wildlife susceptible to infection. Increased infectivity, especially in rural regions, and mutation. Evolve. And you see, now there's one that's, this is like the, the synthesis of all three. Extreme zoonosis. Infection causes multiple species barriers. Increases infectivity, especially in rural and urban areas. Mutation chance and cross-country transmission. Spain, normal life in Spain is start beginning to break down due to Pax-12. Cure research is starting to slow. Ooh, Poland starts rat extermination campaign. Yeah, so, like, if a country gets, like, screwed up enough, it, like, it'll actually, you know, they can't do much medical research because, you know, there's... Post-apocalyptic nomads are living in the ruins of their universities and whatnot, so... Spain puts curfews in place. Tumor symptom mutated. Not a tumor. Australia gives ma cure maximum priority. Uh, East Africa uses mass graves. Yeah. Oh, took over Russia. India sets up trauma centers. Heavy flooding in Argentina. Okay, that means like like if you're if you're using like you know the water, you know infectivity that that'll help help you there. Right. I'm, uh, I'm concerned. It looks like Greenland has closed their port. Korea uses mass graves. Ooh, we felt the insanity. Oh, you know, it's the cure went down because insanity. Algeria, Algeria approves human experimentation. Spain approves human experimentation. Desperate times. Yep. Well, look, two billion, almost two billion people are dead worldwide. New Zealand bans all flights. USA shuts down water supply. Yeah. Still not nearly lethal enough. Immune suppression. Pathogens attack to lymphocytes, suppressing immune systems and signi allowing significantly greater freedom of mutation. Can be lethal. Oof. Russia removes drug research safeguards. USA approves human experimentation. Grim. Colombia declares national emergency. Ooh, inf inflammation. Let's take a look at the uh, global chart here. <laughs> Humanity close to extinction. Three three point two eight six billion dead. Only slightly more people alive than dead at this point. And only fifty six thousand people who are not at least carriers. Let's see. Infection spread summary. Healthy country. Green. We have not reached Greenland. This, this, everyone else is infected. This does not bode well. This could be trouble. Paranoia, pe paranoia in Mor people in Morocco are extremely paranoid and are more likely to take extreme actions to slow PAX-12. Sweden shuts down water supply. All right, genetic reshuffle. Pathogen DNA strands reassembled. More work needed to develop a cure. That'll buy us a little more time. Oh, see, we dropped from 94 to 84. France shuts down water supply. Insert bathing joke here. Saudi Arabia is the first to fall into anarchy due to PAX-12. No cure research can take place. Wait, it said the United States removes research safeguards, but they already allowed human experimentation. You'd think that would be kind of... That scares me. Kazakhstan declares national emergency. Uh-oh. They're closing in on a cure. India's government has fallen. Projectile vomiting symptom combo. Coughing and vomiting are causing the infected to projectile vomit, increasing the infectivity of PAX-12.
Mexico's government has fallen. Here you go. You can get it now. Yeah. Brazil shuts down water supply. USA's government has fallen. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> I had to. Canada's government has fallen. I don't even think he'll be president at this point. No, he still will be. In, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm losing all sense of time. Southeast Asia's government. Some of some of the re 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 countries are consolidated into regions. You know, for con China puts curfew in place. Let's let's see how the good old U.S. of A. is doing here. There are three million people left alive. And they're all infected. <laughs> Just like The Walking Dead. Spoilers. <laughs> Sneezing and diarrhea are causing unwanted accidents, lowering productivity, and drawing attention to pastor. Oh! <laughs> the oops combo. Indonesia calls all livestock. West Africa's government. That's fallen. That's surprising. They were the first to be fully infected. Yeah, that's true. Indonesia's government. There are less than a quarter billion people living worldwide. Peru uses mass graves. Like I said, initially the news is like celebrity fluff and whatnot, you know, and now it's the Brazil approves the human experimentation. How many people? There's only barely over a hundred million people on Earth now. Less than 100 million. Kazakhstan exterminates all birds. Peru burns corpses. Central Asia's government. Sometimes I've seen it. Sometimes it'll say like, um, they'll just like start systematically killing people like infectees. Public defecation symptom combo. Diarrhea and insanity are causing the people to defecate in public and anywhere else. Every everyone's increasingly focusing. Oh God. America burns corpses. I don't think we're gonna make it, Nick, unless we can somehow get to Infect Greenland. Yeah. Yeah. Pakistan puts curfews in place. Total organs failure symptom mutated. That's like greatly increases lethality. But yeah, I think you'll kill everybody you haven't. Except Greenland. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, Leif Erikson. <laughs> On the plus side, they're they're now far, far away from researching a cure because there's basically no one left to research it. Key research contributors, Greenland, Iceland, Korea. It's the the R and D juggernaut that is Greenland. <laughs> it, it's like a you know, like like nice uh T V show premise for you. Every all the world is dead of plague except Greenland. And it's just it follows whatever happens next. Greenland is not only the only remaining country, but the super prosperous country. <laughs> we're, we're down to like less than five million people now. It's just a waiting game. Iceland sets up trauma centers. Oh, we came so close, Nick. I know. Tried so hard and came so far. But in the end. In the end. Less than a million left. Even in Greenland are cold, John. <laughs> Not even letting like one infected person in. <laughs> Obviously they don't have access to these stats, but 99% of the world's people are dead. Oh yeah. It's just like, whatever. Turkey's government has fallen. <laughs> There's less than 50,000 people infected. Korea shuts down the internet. Korea shuts down the internet. Damn you. Damn you, StarCraft. <laughs> but it's too late. Humanity has been zerg rushed by my disease. Oh, damn. PAX-12 killed all its hosts. Some healthy people survived. Would you, who would you want to tweet that to? Who would you want to email that to? <laughs> that, <laughs> yes. The whole social media integration in games can go too far, I think. <laughs>